Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another EMC. So, I was just coming out here at the park. I was just doing some thinking, and I uh, kind of just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and uh, let you know, Dizzy and I, we made a big decision. This was not an easy decision. It was something that we thought about for a very long time. We went back and forth so much. And you know what, sometimes things are just meant to change. And that's what life is. Life is always changing. It's like a metamorphosis, right? In the past 10 to 11 years, I've been driving the G-Class. And Dizzy has been driving the G-Class since about the end of 2014. And we just feel like it's time to move on. I guess it's time to say goodbye to King Kong. That's the decision that we're gonna make. So King Kong is officially up for sale. Uh, obviously, it's going to be up for sale only in Taiwan. So this part, I am going to speak Chinese. This is going to do a good thing. Hei Jin Gang, we are going to take it. So if you are interested in Hei Jin Gang, you want to buy Hei Jin Gang, this G55 AMG. If you are serious, you can directly contact us. If you want to know more information, our contact information is in the description below. I am going to show you guys around the car, so come with me. It's a beautiful day, beautiful sunset. I got the perfect, perfect lighting on this car. It just looks so badass. There's a couple reasons why it's called King Kong. One, it's brute, it's big, it's a beast. And you know what? It's just so muscular. I just named it King Kong one day. I just felt like it's just King Kong. You know, when you drive this thing, you feel so G. You feel like such a gangster in this car. And that's why it's like, you know, it's like G unit, it's like gorilla unit. And that's why I was like, this is King Kong. But let's look at some details of the car. I'm gonna take you guys in depth of all the modifications, everything that I've done to this car. And hopefully you guys will like it. All right, come on, let's take a look. This car is kitted out with the Brabus White Star kit. The Brabus White Star kit consists of wider fenders. It starts from here. This is a little bit wider by about two centimeters and it runs through to the end of the fender here. So this whole area is a little bit wider now. This is sloped down instead of the flat fender flare that the original stock fender flares have. Now this runs into the Brabus logo and right here is the vent, which makes it look more aerodynamic. And obviously the wide door panels. There's another wide body strip right here on this pillar in between the front and the rear doors. The rear door also has a wide body panel. This is the wide rear fender flare. Now the cool thing about the fender flares is that it actually has two LED lights here and two LED lights over there. So these LED lights shine when the lights are on. Now there's also another rear vent right here. Uh, there's a mesh grill for the air vents. And then if we go around the rear, we have the rear bumper, which goes into the fender right here. And this is the whole rear bumper with LED rear lights. And I also upgraded the rear tail lights to LED rear tail lights. I took the spare wheel off for a couple of reasons. One, the spare tire goes up to like here. So when you're looking in the rear view mirror, I can't really see anything. So I took that off, but also it's very, very heavy. It's like an extra 25, 30 kg including the spare tire and the spare tire cover. This door is already very, very heavy. When you open it and close it, it gets really tiresome. And you gotta close this door with some force like this. So that's how you close it. But now let's go around here. Okay, before we get to the front, this is a G63 mirror. The G55s did not come with this. I upgraded this to the G63 look. So this is where I'm gonna bring you around the front, as you can tell. The front of the G55 has the Mansory headlights. It's got the Brabus daytime running lights here. It's also got the G63 bumper with the Brabus front lip that wraps around. And it's got the turn signal functions. So the turn signal functions work like this. If you're making a left turn, the amber LED lights come on while the right LED lights stay white. If you turn right, 
the right LED lights come on in amber and the left switches back to the white LED lights. And we have the metal first edition lip. That's a nice touch to it. We have the Brabus front grille, the Brabus hood, and right here, these two pieces are actually quite special. A lot of the G-Class guys love these two bulging turn signal lights like on the left and the right sides, but I actually prefer them deleted. So I took those off and I put these things on. The hood, let's check out what's under the hood. This is the last year production model of the G55. The M113K engine has got to be one of my favorite engines of all time. It's a supercharged engine. It's a 5.4 liter V8 with a dope ass supercharger. Now, when you stomp on it, it just goes. There's no turbo lag, nothing. I installed the Group M carbon fiber intakes. I upgraded to a Kleeman ECU, Kleeman pulley, Kleeman camshafts, and Kleeman long tube headers. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the exhaust. I mated the FI exhaust with the EMC logo on the tips to the Kleeman long tube headers. Now, this is the FI exhaust with the EMC logo on the tips. I know it's a little bit dirty, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, give it a blip. Now I'm gonna talk about the wheels, the brakes, and the suspension. Now, these are the 22 inch Vorsteiner two-piece wheels. So this is a matte black finish for the center spokes, a polished black finish for the lips, and I have silver bolts. So these are Michelins uh, in size 295, 40, 22s, and obviously you guys see some ceramic brakes in here. These are really, really sick ceramic brakes. I don't think you see anyone with ceramic brakes on the G-Class. This is where it gets really, really special. The G-Class is lowered by a couple centimeters with the KW coilovers. It rides really, really nice. We just got the coilover serviced at KW in Taizong, so everything is pretty much brand new. So the G55 interior is pretty basic. It is a slightly updated version of the original G55. It has a G55 logo on the shifter. It has a handbrake. I put in an aftermarket screen on top of the AC. I actually like the fact that the screen is up here instead of down here because then when I'm looking, if I want to go, you know, if I want to look at my navigation, then it's up here. I think that this is a better design. And then I upgraded to the 2012 or 2013 and up G63 steering wheel. This does look a little bit more updated than the normal G55. We just finished a huge service on this car, so this car is in super good condition. The interior, to be honest, shows a little bit of age, but it's still in pretty good condition. It has Alcantara headlining and the Designo leather package, and it's got white stitching around the seats as well as the center console. And overall, pretty much just the G-Class. It's not gonna be too luxurious, it's not gonna be too comfortable, but it's super, super badass. So before I end this vlog, I just want to point out that I did wrap this car. This is a 3M matte black wrap. It looks more like a utility army vehicle. I really love the wrap of this, so whoever the next owner is going to be, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy the hell out of this car. It's an amazing beast. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Help us share this video. If you guys have any friends that are interested, give us a shout. Let them know that EMC is selling the King Kong. So let's say goodbye to King Kong, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.